guess that's where they would cook. This is where they would smash up the corn. And it looks like they're making clothing or something here. That's probably deer skin for clothing or blankets to keep warm. Yeah, and here they probably kept there's a shell walking stick. They probably kept animals in here for food. And right there in the middle, this is where uh, they would all sit and gather and eat and sit by the fire at night. Here's a, there are huts that they would live in. Let's see what it looks like inside. I think we can go inside here. Wow. It's all muddy in here, but there's where the fire is. You can sit there. And then there's a little hole in the ceiling to let the smoke out. But normally they would sit on this side and the fire would keep them warm in the middle. That's pretty neat. Okay, let's get out of here and go see what that other one is. This one has, here's the back side of it. all things you could find in the woods to build that. And then here's this one. Oh, there's, there's smoke coming out of that one. Ooh, we'll go inside that pretty soon. <laughs> That's all tree bark, made of tree bark. Pretty neat. We're going to go inside this one too, an abandoned Indian hut, Native American Indian hut, all tree bark. This is where they would sleep I suppose, and there that looks like a bird's nest. Whew. You could sit over there. There's a fire going, that's nice. Some corn here. Oh, that's nice in here. I like that. That's probably for decoration. Yeah, this is all, there's where the smoke is going out. There's a, it looks like a deer skull. That's all like a bench. There's firewood under there. And then you could sit on these logs here in front of the fire. It looks like there's some meat there that they're cooking up. Oh, that's nice. Sit by the fire. Hmm. All right. Oh, there's a bird. Hello, bird. 
Did you see that? Okay. And then there's some corn stalks there. Some rocks. This is pretty neat. Oh, maybe the bird is living in here. I'm not going to try to go out that way because that one's a little small, but this is nice. I like this. Okay. And then, okay, let's head to the museum and we'll see what else we can see. Okay, we're inside the museum now. And from what I'm told, this is the Indian word where Connecticut came from. You can pause that and read that. Down here is all arrowheads. Some more tools here that they used. There's an axe head. That's how they would make their canoes. Burn out the middle so they could make it easier to hollow out. did get permission to film in here. I'm trying to be quiet, so I hope uh, you can hear me. There's another hut like the one we were in on display. Canoe up here. That looks like white birch. Made of white birch. That's pretty neat. I don't mind if you do that. They have a little bit of to it. So, how are you feeling after? Some clay pots. There's some, there's a white birch tree. Moccasins. A lot of words. Yeah, no, like, I'm so 
is not good for you. And here's some more modern tools that they were traded. And a copper pot. There's an actual photo. If you want to read all these, you'll have to come yourself. Let's take a look at the other side of this barrel. Teller Downs. Oh, I like this. Hopi Maidens. <laughs> have faces. It's the same thing the Amish used to do. Corn husk dolls. <laughs> There's another little room over there. Yeah. 
scary. <laughs> A snake on his head. Medusa's brother. And this is the hut. Oh, this is nice in here. like the one we went in outside. Only it's a lot bigger. There's some arrows and a little quiver. There's the bow. Got a beaver down here. if you like skulls. There's a little baby, baby carrier. 